Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today we are on, I believe, day five of the Righteous Fire SSF progression. Just to keep you guys up to date, we are at about two days playtime uh, and six deaths. I think half of them were really bullshit, but we're not here to talk about them. So before I jump into pretty much everything I've done, uh, we are going to open a tier 16 map and get started really fast. So I guess actually a little bit of preface uh so i am currently not running maven witness because i am trying to get eater of worlds so basically i'm trying to get a ashes of the stars because it's a very easy amulet to get sort of it's like deterministic right it drops off the eater uh, and it's really good for my build there are obviously more aggressive offensive upgrades like a plus one plus one or plus one crazy high dot multi but ashes of the stars is just like a really good amulet to have it allows for a lot of wiggle room that's pretty much what I'm aiming for. So let's get started. I did get my level 20 Righteous Fire back. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll know I evolved my only 20 RF that I had and it did brick and it went to 19. So today we leveled and got all of our support gems back. So that was pretty awesome. I also tested a few Conquerors. I obviously, I don't have clips to show you, but I did Veritania. Veritania was not too bad. Uh, it was a hexproof Kirak map, so I'm pretty happy to say that we are already Guardian viable. Um, it was, you know, it took a little to bit to do, but it wasn't that bad, so I was pretty happy about that. So my four-link fire that trap setup with alien. fire trap, life tap, wow. burn trap, and mine is enough to handle most content right now. Uh, let me like not fuck this up. Let's see here. Uh, I need this here, maybe an empower, and then another stun over here. My oh my! I don't think uh, I don't think we're doing this one, boys. I think they're reaching the purification pump. Oh, it's even a reduced cooldown recovery, so I literally can't. Uh, uh oh. Let's see. Good. Uh, good. Uh, upgrade that. Come down here. The purification pump. Please don't reach the purification pump. You don't want to, believe me. Uh huh. Oh boy, this is uh, this is sure something. Thank you, stun towers. Uh, one thing that did happen right at the end of my live stream we had an unlucky brick so if you guys are aware of the um the weapon crafting that i showed in my previous video i actually got a tier 2 suffix burn damage roll but i had to annul because i did not have a prefix to suffix or sorry suffix to prefix bestiary and i annulled and it lost the plus one so that was kind of shit another uh another nice thing about eater of worlds right now is i'm actually picking gems for a lot of them to hoard 40 percent quality of fire gems as 40 percent quality of fire gems does add towards the or will basically can guarantee the plus one uh fire scepter and if you guys are curious there's a video i have called righteous fire endgame scepter crafting and that's pretty much the video it, it explains that of unmaking nice i need all of those uh let's go with upside because i do need a new influence currency quite a bit i must have time to Ooh. gather my will those Squidward mobs, dude, are very spook. That's DD, let's get back. 20% during cry, that's pretty nice. My Ooh, another exalt. 
Very nice. Oh. Tried to use Infernal Cry there. It didn't go off. I don't know if it was on cooldown. It may have still been on cooldown because this map puts it on like a 20 second cooldown. Uh, right. We'll take bottom one. And what's this? Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Boss drops three gems. I think this boss is going to take like a minute to kill because he gets like the Giga regen. Let's see. Tanner Lightfoot. Come on, Tanner. All right. So that's actually really good because 5% Ellie hit and 15% blast range. Okay, let's go over upgrades and pretty much what else we achieved. Okay, so I upgraded out of my old belt. Uh, I was using this belt right here. So to upgrade out of this belt into this belt, what I did was I got four Fertile Catalysts from Metamorph. And I used it on my Stygian while it was still white, so that put it to 20%. I basically harvest, reforge, spam this. Uh, and I was looking for T1 life, T1 life regen, and some form of chaos res, but that did not happen. I got T2 life with T2 regen and two resistances, and I just took it. Um, and I craft the armor and energy shield on it. The reason why I wanted to go with the Stygian is because I had a jewel, which is giving me dex, life, and increased damage with a shield. So honestly, it's a really good belt. I'm trying to upgrade out of this pile of shit amulet that I have. I don't really want to talk about it. I've used like 80 plus reforge fire on marbles and have not hit dot multi. Well, I hit one dot multi on the marble, but it wasn't worth upgrading to. I've never hit plus one fire gems. That's why I want to just go with an ashes of the stars. I know you can use rog for amulet crafting, but I want to use rog for shield crafting. And I don't know if they share the same currency for that uh, because I don't want to use a rise of the phoenix forever I definitely want to upgrade out of this especially now that my belt got a fire res roll I can take off my rise of the phoenix and even if I have a shield with no fire res I'll still be okay with my fire res yeah uh, other than that I also crafted a new ring if you see it in the bottom right hand corner here so because I'm in SSF and damage is a little bit harder to come by I don't need to use a death's rush when I'm bossing ever and like unless the boss does chaos damage which you know none of the guardians except for all hesmen does chaos um I, so i don't need to use the death's rush so i crafted a ring specifically for fighting bosses because it's a really big damage increase so as you guys saw i'm specced into essence now right so my atlas is full essence and i'll talk about this in just a minute uh i had an abundance uh not an abundance but i had like five where are they I had anger essences so i was using uh deafening essence of anger i think this one actually may have been with shrieking i'm not sure and if you look here at this i basically hit 38 fire damage which gets amplified by the 20 percent elemental damage essence then it's on a base of an opal so that puts it to 68 percent increase and then i have a 12 percent increased damage roll that i crafted through betrayal um once you unlock that, you can just craft it. So it's an 80% increased damage ring, uh, which is like pretty substantial. So my RF is like, actually, let's look at Fire Trap. My Fire Trap's like 389k. It goes to. I must have time to gather my. 434k. Which is like pretty big, right? For just a simple ring swap. So this is what I'm going to be using when I'm fighting like Conquerors, some Guardians, um, 
just in general for some progression, just for a little bit of extra damage. Uh, some of the other things, um, so we didn't really do too much. I guess we'll talk about the Atlas here. So I'm full Essence right now, naturally to acquire Essences, to get Essence of Horror, um, but also so I can recraft my body armor with higher tier life Essences. Uh, and just in general, having an abundance of Essence is nice in case I want to craft something in general in the future. Uh, I have pushed really hard on my Atlas progression. We're 114 out of 117. So soon I am going to be dropping Kirak missions. Um, I did keep my Kirak missions to get Putrid Cloister. So Putrid Cloister is a map right here. Uh, this is the map that un unlocks multi-mod for me to craft my weapon. So the goal was keeping my Kirak missions until I got this. So I'm pretty much good to drop them now. I am just keeping my Kirak missions now in case I get Guardian maps. So whenever I reroll my Kirak missions, if I get a Guardian map, I'm going to go run that because I am going to need a bunch of Guardian maps um, just in general to get my progression and maybe get lucky and get an Awakened gem. I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah. So at the moment now, I have specced over into Eater of Worlds here for the Altars. Uh, the Altars are very good for two things right now for me. To A, influence Scarab Drop so I can juice more maps, and B so I can get more gems. And again, remember, quality gems allow me to do my plus one recipe craft. So right now I do have a better weapon than I had before, but this weapon is <clears throat> honestly pretty shit in comparison to what I could get. It's just like really bad, but this is what we're working with until we get a better weapon. Other than that, I have uh, Etched by Acid to push my progression a little bit faster to try to get my Ashes of the Stars. Um, then I have specced into Harvest over here. So I've got like Bumper Crop and Heart of the Grove. I really like Heart of the Grove. It procced like two to two or three times today. I'm just getting the chance for the unchosen crop to not wilt. It just helps with a little bit of extra passives uh, for like rolling your, your stuff. Then I went into Neural Pathways and Vivid Memories. Since the focus of my of what I'm doing right now is, well, I, I need to get this actually Synaptic Impulse. I have one extra point. Uh, the reason why I've specced into here is I'm basically just not really juicing my maps right now. And I'm just like rushing to the, not rushing to the boss, but clearing my map, killing the boss immediately, new map, I'll can go to try to push the progression for Eater of Worlds. I think when I get my amulet, I'll probably respec my Atlas again. Um, but right now, basically building up a map bulk, trying to get a uh, Elder Helmet. I think my Elder Helmet's probably going to end up dropping from Elder Guardians. I did a few Kirak map missions with Elder. Literally didn't even get an Elder drop through like two or three maps. I tried doing uh, Scarab. I got like one Elder drop. Another option is getting a high item level uh, influence piece, like influence helmet of anything and then relying on Harvest to randomize it to Elder. But that's also really unlikely. So basically just building up a map bulk and then... Um, I'm pretty much going to fight Maven, I think, after I get an Elder Helmet that I have somewhat crafted. I'm just scared of Maven, but I might end up doing it right away. I'm not really too sure. That pretty much summarizes the progression, though. I'm really enjoying this character, uh, really enjoying our progression. I, I thought bossing was going to be a bit more difficult, but it hasn't been too bad. Uh, hasn't been too bad at all, considering we've done two Eaters already and one Searing, but the Searing was the campaign boss. The Eater, I've done the actual boss fight for. Uh, I also respect the extra map sustain from here and here when I got my two watchstones here. So that pretty much countered it. So that was pretty nice as well. Anyway, I think that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Of course, if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Sundays. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.